Hey there, it's Beta Squared, and welcome back to more Portal 2. Now, this is a particular favorite of mine, the fall. Um, however, there's gonna be one big issue. There's a lot of talking by one of my favorite written characters in this game, so essentially, I don't know how to respond to that, but I'm just gonna let him speak more. I also fixed the whole magical chrome walls, and I just did a massive skip. It is actually very useful in a low portal run. I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, there's a lot of dialogue coming up, and basically what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna just keep myself my mouth shut and react to it slightly. And one thing I've noticed is that I don't really do well with the whole. Okay, let's just uh do ten minutes at a time, and basically do it again. Cause I don't know how to do that. I don't have a timer. I don't have a clock running. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just going to record and I'm going to cut it 10 minutes and if I have ex extra left over it'll be a longer episode. So this is the whole suspense of like the darkness is now kept in play because everything is uh, nice and dark so you basically cannot see anything and I like that about this because that's the whole point of this area. You're not supposed to see anything and then you get this nice huge reveal which is the point. Yay, I love everything that has points. It's, it's kind of like... Those Shakespearean books that you have to read. I want to actually go here first so I can press this button and then press that button and I can go on my way. Because this is not a very long chapter. It's actually roughly 30 minutes to half an hour so I can like knock this out in potentially three to four parts. If I am doing it right, three parts. But you know, I, I put myself down a lot on this channel and I, I have a reason for that. Every time I put myself down, it's that I've already hit the low point. I can't go any lower. So by default, I can only go higher. And that's why I do it. Like, my friend criticized me for that, but I honestly understand why he would. Because I, I fucking talk down to myself all the time. All the time. So, I'm sorry if I'm quiet for the next few, like, parts. Because, again, there is a lot of dialogue. Like, a lot. By the way, last time I recorded this... This thing popped into existence out of nowhere, even though it's a flat wall in the previous loading zone. So I was stuck, and I hated myself. But this is why I like this game so much, because this tower forces you to look up. And when you do, you are surprised. You are actually surprised, because we are just so deep inside of Aperture Science at this point. It's just magically unbelievable. So fortunately for me, I know where I'm going. I just have to remember exactly how to do it. Uh, wrong button. I'm, I'm hitting the wrong ways and levers. So welcome to old Aperture Science. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Astronauts, war heroes, Olympians. Am I the best? I don't think I am the best. But I think I'm pretty good. Okay, where do I go? I want to go there, but I just want to be careful. Cave Johnson is probably one of the more favorite characters of mine because he is so... Oh my god, just like double dialogues happening at the same time and this is our favorite man himself. It's Cave Johnson. He is... There's a lot of lore behind him. Local entrepreneurs buy salt mines, which is actually this place, Spirit of Idaho. Uh, wait, we're in Idaho? Okay, that is actually kind of confusing. So, there's a lot of lore hidden throughout this game, and is that a, a smoking thing? I think that might be a smoking thing. So, that's... What do you... Wait, what, what the, what's going on? Oh, God, I think they turned... They, they turned testing people, I don't remember, into praying mantises by accident. That Which reminds me... Of a Rick and Morty plotline. I actually... It's, it's one of the more morbid episodes, I think. I think my favorite episode of Rick and Morty falls under, um... Uh, that's not where I want to go. I want to actually do that. One of my favorite episodes of Rick and Morty falls under the whole, um... Uh, M. Night Shyamalan Ding Dong? Or Shyamalan Aliens? I don't remember what it's actually called. But, basically, the one where he, they're inside of a simulation. Inside of a simulation. Because... Oh my god, I almost died. The, the whole concept of that is just 
mind-boggling baffling. Can I not put anything there? Because I just want to basically skip stuff when I'm ready to skip stuff on my own. Because going through this game, I'm going through it particularly fast, but I'm also going through it at my own pace. The, the big issue is that I know what I'm doing, so going through this isn't hard for me. It's not easy either. And I think Cave Johnson has a- yes, there it is, this is lines. And what is- did I do this faster than last time? Because last time I recorded this, I'm rambling on- I don't- how am I doing this? Last time I recorded this, uh, I s didn't know what I was talking about because I couldn't talk over Cave Johnson and I felt like a shithole for talking over him. So I basically spent like a lot longer on these episodes than I usually do. So, we're actually in the ancient testing chambers and propulsion gel is probably one of my favorite gels. So, um, actually I think this is the correct way. So, I, I, <laughs> um, what do I, okay no, there's a button, what am I doing? I'm being silly. Of course I'm being silly. I gotta hit the, the way... Oh god. No box, come back! No! Uh, these puzzles are not gonna get easier. The game's actually gonna get kind of harder to run out here. And I wanna be prepared because things aren't killing me right now, but they're gonna kill me eventually. Oh god. What do you, what do you mean? Uh, but I love pre recorded stuff. That's all I do! Like, this stuff that you're seeing, I either recorded in like a week? Or a month. There's like some instances where I actually did record like months in advance, and there's a reason for that. I, I want to keep ahead. I also gotta sneeze. Ugh! Uh, Ugh! Gotta sneeze. Why? No, you, you bastard! You start flaring up every freaking time and it pisses me off. Okay. Uh, what am I doing? I'm basically solving video game puzzles. Oh, my nose. Why did it hurt so badly? Ugh! I'll be okay. I think. Uh, generally? Potentially? If I'm not okay, then I don't know. I'm not dying. I'm just- my nose itches like hell. And everything about my body just rejects that and- Oh, uh, 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 sorry about that. Uh, I drank a lot of coffee today, so I'm just having like... Gas inside of me. I- I- <laughs> Oh, I'm so happy. I don't know. I, just playing Portal makes me like- curious as to how the world would work because portals are like basically two parts of space compressed together portals are breaking down your molecular structure and then rebuilding it in a different location so essentially essentially when whenever you get into a teleportation device is it makes a copy of yourself somewhere else so you there's this whole, like, consciousness thing that you're dead as soon as you touch a portal device. Which is kind of why I'm a little freaked out. I honestly, I don't even know if I would trust anyone. Because portal, I don't know. I, I really don't. I, I think, I think, uh, it's, wait, asbestos? Uh, what are you talking about, asbestos? What am I talking about? Because then, how would I know? Honestly, I really wouldn't know, essentially, what the hell is going on. Okay, I have to go here, and there you go. Problem solved. Where the fuck do I go? Except, I don't know where to go. Okay, that is what I want to do, and then this is what I want to do. Come on. Oh, I, I shut the wrong portal. I shoot wrong portals because I am... Very silly at the way I do things in this game. But, uh, teleportation devices. Scary. They're actually scary. Uh, did I do this right? Maybe. She, I don't, I don't actually know. Maybe not. Hopefully everything goes well. Even if it doesn't, I still did it right somehow. Um. Oh, because I'm, I'm actually forgetting what I have to do is not that difficult. Hooray! Problem solving, solving problems, stuff, words, things. 
Okay, uh, I think I got this down. I just need to shoot a blue portal and everything should guide me to where I need to go next. Hooray! I did it. I don't know if I did it right, but I assume it's it's good. Oh god. Wait, was that the coffee I drank this morning? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't... So, logic tells uh, dictates by telling you something, you automatically have it in your head. <laughs> and I don't know how that helps, but I guess it does.